Now, talk about let's talk about saturated fat. Uh, yep. You know, many cardiologists that, and I learned in pharmacy school many years ago um, that saturated fat is bad and it does attribute to heart disease. Uh, will you comment on that? Yeah, again, uh, the evidence is really to the contrary when you look at it. The only studies that have associated uh, saturated fat with heart disease are poorly done, um, you know, epidemiologic studies, what we call them. You know, these are kind of population level studies where they look at the amount of saturated fat that's being eaten and they tie it to the incidence of heart disease. Um, the original sort of development of that theory goes back to the 1950s, a scientist mm -hmm. by the name of Ansel Keys. And um, in the 1950s, we were experiencing an explosion in heart disease. Um, the sitting president of the United States, President Eisenhower, had a heart attack while he was in office. And so that appropriately set off alarm bells. And Ansel Keys uh, primarily put forth the theory that um, saturated fat in the diet was the you know, driving force between heart disease. And he published a study uh, called the Six Countries Study where he mapped out the amount of saturated fat that uh, was being consumed by different countries on a population level and the amount of heart disease that uh, was being experienced in those countries. And it looks like a nice straight line, you know, a good association there. The problem is, is that Ansel Keys had access to data from 22 countries and he handpicked the six countries that line up uh, and he ignored the other countries that didn't line up. And, you know, this was acknowledged for a long period of time. There was, you know, you would hear about the French paradox where the French had the highest levels of saturated fat consumption and some of the lowest levels of heart disease. And everyone would say, well, that's just an outlier. That's just a paradox. Uh, but, you know, the reality is, is that it's because saturated fat has, you know, doesn't correlate with heart disease. Um, we have intervention studies that were then done where they took saturated fat out of the diet. They substituted polyunsaturated fats, processed fats, vegetable and seed oils. Um, yes, people's cholesterol levels go down when you do that, uh, but they don't live longer and they don't have less heart disease. Uh, so, uh, you know, and that we have a number of studies, uh, including one led by Ansel Keys's team that he didn't publish the results on because he was disappointed with the, you know, the results didn't support his uh, preconceived conclusion. So um, most people don't realize this, but the American Heart Association um, has actually removed from their recommendations the limitations on saturated fat. Uh, the U.S. dietary guidelines no longer have a limitation on saturated fat. It's just that that message uh, hasn't gotten to the people and isn't promoted you know, they kind of quietly took it out of the guidelines. They sort of buried it in, you know, page 80 of the, you know, 300 page report. Uh, but the reality is uh, when you look at the totality of the evidence, saturated fat is not a cause of heart disease. And um, again, uh, saturated fat from animal products uh, is something we have been eating for millions of years uh, as human beings. And heart disease only became a problem, you know, within the past 75 to 100 years. Uh, so it does not make sense that saturated fat is causing that. The last piece of evidence I'll point out is similar to what we were talking about earlier. Um, the amount of saturated fat that Americans have consumed has dropped significantly over the past 50 years in line with the dietary, you know, guide in line with the advice that was being given. And yet, as we mentioned, the incidence of heart disease is not changing significantly. So uh, there is no reason to fear saturated fat in the diet um, and uh, natural saturated fats that occur in animal uh, foods and even some of the plant foods should not be avoided um, as part of uh, good heart health. I, I, it's like I said, it's so refreshing to hear, to hear this from a cardiologist. Uh, I, I, I de I've debated with many a cardiologist on the subject and, um, I, you know, I've got to be careful as a pharmacist when the, you know, when the patients will come in and they'll talk to me about these things. And I'm like, but I'm like you, I just like, let, let's just think rational about it. If red meat and animal products were so bad, 
How did we survive on them for thousands of years? I mean, seriously, just 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 think about that. 